Hey everyone, welcome to a quick Photoshop tutorial. Today I got a great question from Jeremy on how to create a gradient mask sort of fade that looks like this. So I have my photo of myself that I've already added and I've already done this, but I'll show you exactly how to do it. So say I have a photo. Let me just turn off this group that I already created. So say I have this photo and I place it onto my Photoshop project. Anywhere on this project is fine. I'll put it over here on the right this time. To create that sort of faded shape on top, the easiest way to do it is to create a new solid color. And this could be any color, but let's just start with black. If you want a black one fade because this is the easiest. Then we're going to basically use the layer mask to create a gradient. So if we click over here to the layer mask, one thing that you can do with the layer mask is then take your brush tool by pressing B on your keyboard or clicking over here, and then you can paint off this layer mask. So you can see that my paintbrush, I'm using black. So anywhere I paint, it's going to appear actually transparent. I'm actually erasing. If I paint it white, so if I click this button right here to switch from black to white or press X on my keyboard to switch it, it paints black back on. So let me actually just paint black on the whole thing like so. And to increase the brush size, what I did on a Mac is to press control option and then drag to the left or the right. But we're not going to use the brush tool. We're going to use the gradient tool right here. So if we take the gradient tool and then we select a black to white transition like so, and then we create this gradient on this layer mask by clicking and dragging on this layer. I'm holding the shift key down to make sure it's a straight gradient. And then what happens is that the right side of this layer mask turns black and the left side is white. So what that means is on the right side, it's a transparent where the black is, and on the left side, it's white, which is not transparent. So you see the black. If I turn off the black, you see the photo behind it. Now you have to kind of play around with the shape of this gradient. So if you want to just go a little bit shorter, you can do that. If you want it to be a longer fade, you can create a longer fade. If you want it to be kind of more direct, just a short fade like so. We could just come back here and change the color like so, or you can start with a different color. So let me just delete this layer entirely. I'll run through it one more time. Create a new solid color by clicking the item button down there. Solid color. We're just going to use my video school online teal. Make sure that you click on the layer mask of this shape. If you don't have the layer mask, select this layer and click this layer mask button down here. Then click your gradient mask over here, the gradient tool actually, the gradient tool, and then turn it to a black to white or a white to black gradient. So if we go white to black, you're going to see something like this. We want black to white like this. And then just play around with the fade to get it how you want. Cool, so that's how you create a quick faded shape solid color in Photoshop. One of the easiest ways to do it anyways. And hopefully this has been very helpful for you. Thanks a lot and we'll see you in another tutorial. Hey, Phil here, and I hope you really enjoyed that tutorial. If you want thousands more tutorials organized into courses and learning paths that take you from beginner to advanced in a ton of cool topics, you should check out the Video School Online All Access Pass. And for those of you watching right now, you can get the first month completely free. After that, it's $9 a month. You can cancel anytime, no strings attached, no questions asked. Head over to videoschoolonline.com forward slash access to get your first month completely free and to join people from all around the world learning new skills and becoming better at what they're passionate about. Thanks so much and I can't wait to see you inside.